Oh, what? No signal? We're getting no signal here? I could probably make it fill more. You know, not like not like the place that's in uh, Act Razor, but like the game. Do you have cheat codes on? I don't think so. I need an image. Okay, that's cool. Thanks, OSSC. Just gonna lose sync all the time. It's rad. Might not be the OSSC, it might be like my capture card specifically. That's that, uh, let's get that. Get, get, get it right where I want it, I just... It's not quite it. Okay, let me let me just move that a little bit. Just scoot it, scoot it right in there. Yeah, that should be good. There's a little bit cut off at the top and bottom. Well, it's not cut off, but there's too much space. It's like the opposite of being cut off. Oh wait, and I don't have mine. Uh, I don't have my monitor set to widescreen. I gotta fix that too. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one thing. The OSSC don't handle that for you like the Frame Meister did. Okay, yeah, I think it's just my capture card that's doing this. Deactivate. Reactivate. I hope that fixes something. Two thousand and seven. It was a year. I need it. I'm trying to hear my stream to prepare for uh, getting the audio balance, but it's not quite working. There, there we go. There I am. All right, check, check. I mean, this isn't a good testing place, but. Could you like... <laughs> like what's happening? What, what's my uh, output options? 480p, line 2x, yeah. Up sample, yep. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, uh... I have the sensor bar, like, below my desk here, so... <laughs> I'm not sure how well this will work. D Stop losing sync! Well, let's try it. Let's see where we get. Create a game file, yes. Where's my cursor? You just give me that. Yep. Let me see. I might need to scoot back just a tiny bit. Okay, play the game. 
Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Full voice acting. And a call back to Mario 64, potentially. Okay, yeah, so it's weird. Because, like, my monitor is not losing sync when you guys do. So it can't be, like, the OSSC making weirdness. Check. Checking volume. Checking volume. I might want to turn it down just a little bit more. Alright. Ch checking, checking. Volume checking. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let me suspend my tabulons. I'm gonna see where the capture card goes from here. And I'll look into solutions if it keeps doing this. I don't know. I noticed it doing that with my PS2 as well. So I don't think it's anything specific, I don't know. Are you collecting star bits? Yes. Yeah, so it gets a, the Wii Remote cursor gets a little sticky up in the corner. I have it like underneath, underneath my desk. Come on, come on. I'm gonna try changing the resolution and see if that affects anything. Let's, let's auto set the frame rate to 60. Galaxy runs at 60, right? I'm gonna see if this does anything. Like, let's see if let's see if it retains the sync like this. Well, that was a quick answer. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since we had technical difficulties like this. Let me check my cable connections here, here, uh, here. I'm just gonna depower the switcher real quick. Do that. Just reset everything. See what we get. See if that did anything at all. Okay, but yeah, the, the Wii Remote cursor gets a little sticky sometimes. You're not... You're really not supposed to play the Wii like this, but I'm doing it anyway. Woo woo! Air top of the morning to you. Time for cruelty. Ah, yes. The tradition is well and alive.
Oh dear, it's it's an airship. Who could have foreseen this? Oh no. Sonic's been turned to crystal gems. Now the toads too. Will this evil never cease? Also, be sure to tell me if the volume balance is still good. I didn't. I admittedly didn't spend a whole lot of time checking it. Okay, sorry, I was checking something. Well, how about this? I'll turn it up a little bit more. I mean, let me know if you guys agree with what Miles is saying here. I'll turn it to like a, pl a flat 11. Yeah, so just guys, let me, let me know. So we got reflections. Wow. It's Bowser! Not Bowser! Oh man, I know a guy on Miiverse who would just love this. Okay, well, let's go to her aid. Bowser had his budget increased at some point along the line. God, that is so awesome. <laughs> the gravitational pull of the Pepsi. If you guys haven't seen the Pepsi logo design document, absolutely go look at that because it's hilarious. Mario! Oh, hey, look, it's the it's that voice clip they like to reuse in every modern Mario game. And it's Wizardo. Well, he just kind of stood there and let that happen. No, Mario, don't re-enter the atmosphere. Say it again. Say the line, Bart. Uh, it's Pluto. Yeah. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Ooh. 
So welcome to Tutorial Island. Oh, my Wii, my Wii remote cur- I just gotta, I just gotta like, sit back. I gotta like, sit straight up. Dang it, having good posture. I'm not ready for that. Let's play hide and seek. If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. All right. This this collar looks a little funny. It's like it's hanging off of me a little bit. The atmosphere of this place is really good. Speaking of atmosphere, like really tiny atmosphere. Like you jump up here and you're just like oh. But luckily Mario can breathe in space. Not underwater, but in space. I I already just was like wandering around and losing myself here. Okay, bunny number one. Yahaha, ha, you found me. Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. But I'm not doing that yet. I'm doing this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't make me long jump. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. Ah, oh, dang it. It hindered me. It hindered me more than it helped. So this one's a little weird because they tell you like you know, oh, go look in the crater, but this is not the right crater. It's the other crater. So you might think you did something wrong here. Honestly, I, I still remember vividly, still remember like vividly being excited for this game when it was coming out. Can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help, Mama. No, I want to go. I want to go up the cool way. There we go. Oh wow, what a nice new character. I hope she doesn't get overused. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Can now spin. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Yeah, cool, cool mission to just give me like literally out of nowhere. Though, I mean, I guess she's been watching. I guess she knows. I didn't mean to do that. That'll probably happen a lot. Because to spin, I gotta do this. Gotta give it the old flick. Yeah, I mean, real talk though. Back when this game was first coming out, I did think it was just a, a, a peach redesign. And I was very confused but ultimately accepting. Hi there, good to see you. I've got some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. I will, of course, not be helping you with this. 
even though it was my recklessness that led to this. So we still got Goomber. I, <laughs> I always thought it was funny when people called extra lives, like, you know, extra man, extra men, extra Marios. So as you saw, I can, like, if I point this at the screen, I can, I can, like, shoot. I can shoot. I probably won't be doing that a ton unless I have to. I had a friend who called them toads. Well, I mean, to be fair to your friend, it is pretty weird that Mario both eats and is friends with mushrooms. In fact, his friends eat the mushrooms as well. Like, that's gotta be cannibalism or something. Or if nothing else, it has to be roughly equivalent to a human eating a, an ape. Which is still weird. I wonder if star chips taste like potato chips. Probably not. However, apparently the Lumas claim that the star bits taste sweet. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake to speed, uh, tutor tutorialization. Yep, got it. Did I miss one? Yeah, I hear the waddling. The waddling. Oh, a more regular Goomba. Okay, thank you. Also, I hope I'm still, like, perfectly audible because I am trying to sit a little bit further away than I usually do. But it's probably not a super concept consequential difference. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star just after just jump into me after I transform. Yeah, that's normal. Not weird. Kick. <laughs> so, if you stomp on an enemy, they release a coin. If you kick them, they release star bits. So I'll probably be doing more of that because I don't think the coins are especially useful. So what's over here? It, it, ow. <laughs> I mean, coins recover your health, which still doesn't make any sense, but nonetheless, it is the case. Gonna get very disoriented. The door disorientation game. Oh, large, large Goomber. Not the king, but at least the Pooba. I, I though I, I sometimes I can't help but jump on them because it's just it's just quicker. Like. Shaking and then kicking them is like a two-step process. Nobody wants to do that. Let me in. Hurry. Down here. Yes, that's where I was headed. Until you blocked my way. Ah, steampunk. We've been waiting for you. That's a grand star. We have to save it. They're using the grand star to power that awful machine. Looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. I was going to, like, pitch my voice up whenever I was uh, speaking as a Luma, but I learned that OBS does not have that functionality built in, and I didn't want to find it. So you're just getting my normal speaking voice. It would have been hilarious, though. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, I was working on it. And they turned green. That's to show you you did well. That one's a free sample. You get that one for free.
<laughs> add the high pitch voice in post and call it the special edition. Yeah, and I'll also add some uh, CGI walruses in the background. All right, got it, got it. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits in our power source, Power Stars. Our ship has, had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Oh, so that was the secret the whole time. Please, I have a request. Oh, so now you're requesting. Before you just told me to do it. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Look. These round rooms are called domes. Yes, we observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is the, this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the Power Stars. Yeah, Mario Galaxy you <laughs> likes to do this thing where it describes what you're doing, but it also gives you a little icon next to what the next to the dialogue, and it looks kind of silly. A garage. There's no garage here. Just a platform. But there's a one up in here. Hello. For the kitties who can't read. Well then how will they know what, what we're telling them to do with it? Welcome. This dome acts as the eye of the observatory. An eye. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pull star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your mm at the mm pull star and press mm. <laughs> These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more mm, power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. Yes, video games. The Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. In Good Egg Galaxy? Off the, off the charts, you say? So, something interesting about this game is that in the Japanese version, the uh, the galaxy names are a lot more, like, dignified sounding. I forgot what this one is called. But it's just like, they sound much more reserved, for lack of a better term. Okay, let me sit back a little bit. Let me put my elbows on the chair. That'll probably help. Eggplant. Pizza Planet. 
Okay, whose house is this? Gone for a long time. Need to get in? Use the pipe on the other side. This sounds like a missing person's case, I'll be real with you. I feel like that guy went into witness protection. So yeah, star bitch just come out of everything ever. You gotta point your Wii remote cursor. Uh, you can go up here. Oh, music! So this would come back in a few other games, I believe. And it's just for a one-up. Is there anything else in here? You can shoot the these things on the floor for uh, coins, but I'm not desperately in need. I'm not desperately in need of that. What are you talking about? I'm doing the level out of order. Okay. Where does this pipe go? Okay, it just goes up here. There are many conduits. To, with which one can reach the other side. Also, just walking. You can also just walk it. <laughs> walking. Oh, coin. But yeah, I remember seeing this structure in a GameStop that was in, like, a mall. It's very important, that crucial detail, that it was in a mall. But I remember this just exciting the heck out of me. This looks really silly. <laughs> this platform, like... I don't think this is... I don't think this is very good building design. You can do that. You can, uh, do some real fooling around. Oh yeah, 50 for a 1-up. Back in my day, it used to be 25. Let's long jump! Oh, that was fun. I, lo I love messing with the gravity in this game. It's, it's, it's so enjoyable. Wee! What happens if I long jump off of this? Oh, well, I don't get to find out. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't get the star bits. Okay, I could probably do like this. What if I did it the opposite way? Diagonal, We. Oh, you slip off. I'm not used to, be able, used to being able to trust a game with gravity gimmicks not to lose my duder in the deep space. You're supposed to talk to that guy to get up to this, but you don't have to. And I appreciate that. Okay, more collecting these things. The weird red crystal boulder. My personal favorite boulder. You can get a lot of star bits from these things. And believe it or not, we are going to want these star bits. They are useful for later, so I'm going to get some. You don't want to waste them. Oh dear. Oh dear, that was, that was almost bad. Ow! Ow! There we go. It, it, okay, come on, come on. There we go. This, this game has very satisfying play control, I will say. 
Like spinning, spinning into the launch star just feels good. It just feels good to do it. And that's the that's the best thing you can say, really, is that you want doing things in the game to feel good. And that's, I feel like that's something that 3D Mario has always been really good at, even over 2D Mario. It's just it just feels good to do things in the game. Okay, so here's the spiky plants we, that we'll see a couple times over the course of the game. I don't see any particular way to deal with these right now. I'm playing with fire. It's it's possible. But I want them star bits. And I know you can't keep them from me forever. Okay, pipe time. Time for bonus. I like... I like how close we're allowed to <laughs> allowed to get to these black holes. <laughs> and Mario just falls into them when they die. <laughs> I think the only Mario game that doesn't do feel good to play is Mario 1 All-Stars. Yeah, that's mostly because they goofed up the bricks. They messed it up. For those who don't know, uh, most of the All-Stars collection is like just like one-to-one -one redone code. But somewhere along the lines, they uh, messed up the value for Mario getting like thrown down when he hits a brick. Like, you know how in most Mario games, you hit the brick, Mario's airspeed velocity either gets set to zero or like, you know, it gets set to a positive number so he gets sent down. Basically, Mario gets thrown down when he hits a brick, you know? The bottom of a brick. That You know, I feel like that makes sense to most people. Well, in Mario 1 All-Stars, they accidentally made it to where <laughs> you hit a brick and you actually get kind of sucked up. And once you notice that, you can't unnotice it. However, there is a patch if you want to play that version and it bothers you. There is like a patch. Nintendo themselves have not done anything. Like, they haven't fixed it in any of the re-releases of All Stars that I know of. But no, no, let's keep shut let's keep shutting down emulation. Let's keep pretending like emulation is the worst thing in the universe, even though we're not willing to actually fix our crap. Egg. Also, reminder that emulation does not necessarily equal illegally obtained copies. You can emulate and have it be totally your own stuff. Like, most of the ROMs I use, including the one I'm playing right now, even though this is an ISO, not a ROM. Um, <laughs> I, I dumped this myself. This is my... Well, actually, this one might not be. <laughs> I might be talking out of my butt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I downloaded this one. But that's just because I tried to dump my actual disc and it didn't work. <laughs> but that does not invalidate my argument, Nintendo. I still bought the game. I have the disc over there. I can prove it. I bought it twice, even. I bought 3D All-Stars. I confess, I did it. You always learn something new, man. You always, there's always something new. Two, 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 two. Should I ruin this number? Should I ruin this perfectly symmetrical number? I'm an evil man. And we did it! I think that's one sign of a really good game is when you can play it 
several times over and still learn something about it you didn't know before. Those star- those <clears throat> are star bits. Tulumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your <clears throat> at the screen and point your <clears throat> at them to pick them up. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with <clears throat> and pressing <clears throat> Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. There we go. Hmm, tasty. Let's call those my little morsels, or let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry luma. Yes, you just told me that part. Either way, I'm sure mm, Star Bits will be a big help on your adventure. Okay, well, no reason to just not keep going on. So we get one more star, we can go to a new galaxy, but I don't know if I will because you know how I play these games. A snack of cosmic proportion. Yeah, he's, he's training you for the- we're still in tutorial mode. The game is, is subtle about it, but we're still being tutorialed. Crap, I've already been playing this for 44 minutes, wow. Yes. This might be a long one. But I guess a lot of that was just the introductory cutscene. Oh yeah, these guys, never mind, these guys you can just spin. I probably don't want to do this again. Oh yeah, also technical difficulties. It seems like restarting everything did fix it though. So at least we know that for later. Is if you if we if we have that trouble, it's probably my uh, HDMI splitter. I think it kind of goofs up if you leave it on for a long time, but usually turning it off and turning it back on fixes it. Pro tip, anybody who's, you know, dealing with malfunctioning technology, always try that first. That's the golden rule. Is, for God's sake, man, just restart the blasted thing. Because oftentimes you just, oftentimes you just gotta flush it out, you know? Like, like a juice cleanse. You just gotta flush out the nastiness. And replace it with I, I I don't know probably nothing. That's that's probably the idea is that nothing. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Now that one would be significantly harder to skip, <laughs> skip to. That being said, I am very curious as to how it could be done. I probably should have tried that. That probably uh, that's pro that's gonna bother me now. Maybe maybe I'll come back and try it. Okay, so you got this thing, the physics orb, the physics bulb. And if and if it doesn't hit anything, it will sling back and hit Mario. So that's that's rude. Yeah, it, it'll do damage, I think. Let's try it. Well, that th that didn't. Okay, maybe not. You gotta be like real close to these things, much closer than I usually think you have to be. Okay, and here's here's a trick. Here's a trick. You gotta wait for this one. Spin. You can interrupt your path. 
But that might be where you're supposed to go, actually. It might be like a, a puzzle. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's at that point where I can't remember what the wrong way is. Imagine being so good that you can literally not fail. Even when you want to. I guess it's so you can gather up more star bits. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. 100 star bits. Here you go. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! Uh, a new planet was born. Ow. Mario's gotta land really hard. Come on, Mario, do the thing. It's the it's the capsule. What does it mean? Who knows what it means? It means I am mean. What does that mean? It means even less than the first thing. Oh, there's a target. My wrist is gonna hate me after this. Okay, where's the where's the entry point? I know it's here. Oh wait, it, it's on one of these crystals, isn't it? It's like it's 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 in one of the crystals. I think. Yeah, it's right here. Go in the hole. Okay, now it's gravity time. Okay, let's go to Planet Superstar. If I remember right, this is a really fun one to mess around with the gravity on. Oh yeah, they want you to collect these to get the star, but I think we don't need them. If we're clever enough. Yeah, there we go. You don't actually, you don't need to do the thing. Cut the knot, cut it. Yeah. All right, new galaxy. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. I can just use the D-pad for this, right? Right? I thought you could. <laughs> Black Wii Remote. You're holding me to a standard I, I cannot... <laughs> I cannot meet. Oh, you can use it... Oh, that's Galaxy 2. King Caliente's battle fleet.
forces you to use the pointer. Yep. Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> it's the, it's the Wii, so we gotta. We, this is a very slippery rock. The Wii, so we gotta have you like motion control for everything. I'm not even as bothered by that as some people, but I gotta admit that it's extremely obnoxious to not be able to use the menu like that. I'm assuming 3D All-Stars changes this. I think so, but I don't remember. Okay. Beach Planet. There's star bits up there, but I don't know what to do about them. Hit that thing with a coconut. That guy got hit in the head with two coconuts. Hmm. It's Toad. I should probably save him. I want the star bits up there. No. Please give it give it to me, please. I, I don't know how to get them. Alright, fine. Oh, you saved me, that's Mario. In return, let me tell you a secret about this place. Apparently those spiky things just hate God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Toad. You, you, you useless inbred imbecile. Okay, Beach Planet 2. It was so good we made another one. Wait, I'm not done exploring Beach Planet 2 yet. I need to destroy the plant. Okay, never mind. I, no, I don't. No, yeah, I want to look around asteroid. Dustin, I get the distinct feeling you have played this game at least once before. It's possible. But I mean, do you really think I would pull the wool over your eyes like that? And yeah, if you hurry out here, you can destroy the chomps and go. I mean, heck, it's it's probably not even the this game. So much as it is, I, I've just played a lot of 3D Mario. <laughs> like a ton of 3D Mario. 64 alone, I've probably played 64 times. Galaxy, though, only twice, I believe. I mean, that, that may still be more than the average. Oh, it's the blocks. You remember when seeing these things were cool? It's like Green Hill Zone. Uh, back in my day, we got a couple of blocks. And, and dang it, we liked it that way. Uh, don't worry, one day I'll get up there. Cool. 
coins are a lot more valuable in this game, huh? Well, yes and no. They're rarer, but also, uh... But also, I don't feel particularly compelled to collect them if I don't have a health problem. I mean, not like, you know, Mario has <laughs> fibromyalgia, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. I remember there's something wacky you can do with these ships, but I forgot what it was. It's rare that you'll get a 1-up from coins. Yeah, and I don't think there's any 100 coin stars either. But I could be wrong about that, I forgot. Oh. Oh, we can turn the wheel. No, keep turning. I want to keep turning. Well, not 100 regular coins. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But you know what I mean. You, you know. I don't know if this actually does anything. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to realize that maybe I shouldn't talk to Toad anymore. I mean, I didn't know about the wheel thing until literally just now, either. Like, I remember there being, like, something you could do by getting over this way. Like, like you could get over there, but I don't remember to what end you would want to do that. I, I knew some galaxy tricks. There's this crate. Oh yeah, that's a new power-up. I mean, I've done one normal playthrough and then one 100% playthrough. And this is my, this is my third, technically. Oh, I also know about this. Oh, no, that didn't work. I, I knew about that. Yeah, you, if you time it right, you can do a homing ground pound. But it's not like, it, it doesn't come to me supernaturally, so I probably won't do it a lot. You kind of got to spin and then ground pound. Oh, neat. He's probably telling you about the coin thing, but up here there's a, it's like a takoyaki ball. It's King Squidward. Yeah, so we gotta play tennis with Ganon. Oh yeah, these guys. There you go. It's not mentioned in the manual. Well, you know, I think that's fine. You don't really need to know it. It's something for those, you know, extra inventive players who try a bunch of different things. And I, I think that's okay. You know? It's like, God, the, the, the feeling of figuring stuff out in games is just dying. We gotta... It's like, you don't need to know everything. It's just a it's just a little bonus trick, you know. It's not that it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think we can move on to the next galaxy now. Yes, yeah, so we got we got all we can do here right now, I believe. So we might as well move on to the next one. The honey hive galaxy. The hippest galaxy in the whole game. All 
All right, B Mario takes flight. But what is a B Mario? I mean, I'm saying this. I'm saying this for viewers. I I, I obviously know what it is. There's a one up back here, but it's kind of dangerous. I swear, there's something about Mario games that just, they have water that looks so much better than the console generation that they're on should allow. Welcome to the Honey High Kingdom. I clean the world so loud. Let's get a close up. So, I feel like if I had one complaint, one complaint, and my friends already know this, about this game, is that there aren't enough areas like this where you can just kind of run around an open area like the old games. That's like my only real complaint with Galaxy is that it just, it just feels a little too straightforward compared to the others. It, in a way, it kind of feels like a middle ground between Super Mario 64 and Sunshine, and uh, the later Super Mario 3D Land. I didn't notice for years that the bees have sharp teeth. I mean, to be fair, the game doesn't really go out of its way to show you this. Again, it's just, it's for the particularly investigative. It's for the players that like to solve a mystery. And or she says. Oh, oh, well, that's not that's not good. I mean, like I've said, I, I, I like it when games have things like that. You know, give you something to discover. It feels good to discover things, I'll be real. It feels good to be like, oh hey, I never noticed this before. New information being gained. Oh, and there's the fuzzy shroom. The fuzz shroom. It killed me how the, the roaches run away. I feel bad for them. Not bad enough to not steal their star bits, of course, but bad enough. Bad enough to where I feel bad. This isn't the way to the castle, you know. God, have you guys never heard of exploring? These bees. That's who... <laughs> that's who newer games... That's who these newer games are being made for. These bees who just want to get straight to the point. I pity them. Alright, let's get back to the point. Here's a cool little set piece, Duma Flotcher. Alright, so let's let's become the bee. So yeah, they made a big deal, if I recall right, about how the power-ups were back. So yeah, this is B. You can fly. Not a lot, but you can fly. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Except, you know, Mario unfortunately took a page from Wario here. And his power-ups do not... <laughs> they are not wa they are water soluble. Aha, uh -huh, I got up here anyway. So I'm gonna use the Silver the Hedgehog method to get over here. So they're aggressive. They're aggressive if you uh, have the bee suit on, but not if you're regular Mario, which is interesting. Hello, Greeny Stash. Good to see you. 
Can I get up here? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm probably not supposed to be here yet. It's almost like, you know, the blue X. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be up here on this mission. But there's nothing stopping you besides just, you know, <laughs> nothing up there. Because, again, this is a bit more linear than Mario 64. You can't do missions out of order. But you can go to areas you ain't supposed to be. Sometimes. Sometimes you can do that. I already have 24 lives. Yeah, and it ain't gonna stop there. I feel like this is the first game I ever played where I really thought, wow, the lives just do not mean anything. <laughs> The lives mean literally nothing in this game. Oh, no, wait. Wait, I saw... No, I want that. I want that one up. They taunt you with it. After it's already too late. How dare they. B check. You gotta have the B, or else you can't go forward. Oh yeah, coins restore your B. <laughs> also, I'm well, I'm comparing a 9-year-old to a 23-year-old. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was probably like 10 or so at the time. I forgot how old you were. To, to compare it to my own age. I don't know what time it is. Like, how, how old are you right now, Langton? I, I don't know how old I was. I just remember I was... Yeah, so I was, uh, I was 12. I was, no, I was 11. I didn't math correct. Yeah, so I was, I was about 11 when this came out. If these numbers are accurate, of course. This is all assuming. Okay, so we gotta go up the dandelion. We... That's very fun to do. That That's one instance where I feel like it's just not the same without the waggle. Because I like I like to make it feel like I, I'm, I'm spinning him. You young whippersnappers. Eh, quiet down, Methuselah. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, the coins restore your fly. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to, you know, be here. Okay, so they can climb the honey. It's a blast. Super Mario World is a blast. So yeah, this is the other thing the bee can do, is you can climb these honey spots. It's the tastiest way to get verticality. I guess it's weird because you'd be like, oh, hey, new Mario game looks cool, but I was like, holy crap, I've never played anything like this. No, no, I was like that too. Because, I mean, I hadn't played any games that took significant usage of gravity gimmicks. So this was pretty new to me too. Though, granted, now that I'm older, I'm like, actually, the gravity doesn't change as much as you would think. You know, it, it's really cool in the moment, but eventually you're like, wait a minute, I, this is kind of the same platforming I would be doing if it was flat, but it's still neat. I, I just think it's neat. And who might you be? A physician, we presume. No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. All right, now for the kinkiest part of the whole game. Oh yeah, the fu the fuzz effect.
My thanks, you have shown much bravery, newbie. We trust that me, we may rely on you in the future. Yeah, lady, don't mention it. Really, please do not mention it. Oh god. I was I was stuck to her gravitational pull. Question mark. Also, I hope the microphone is kinda picking up the Wii remote. I set it up. Oh, it's hey, it's the debut of these guys. Ah, uh, B! What? Mario! Hey, it's you! We escaped from Peach's castle, too! But then we thought Bowser would get us! Then we got lost with Luigi! Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need that, so here, take it! Oh, my brother is up here! Oh, God! Galaxy 2's kinkiest moment has to be the enemies that suck on Yoshi's nose. No, yeah, you're probably you probably are right about that. Yeah, so Yoshi is not in this one, but he's in the next one. <laughs> Family Guy comes up at least once every stream. Yeah, I, I'm just embracing it at this point. Oh, new new galaxy. So when we come back to the lobby, Rosalina usually has something to tell us. Mario, your name is Mario, isn't it? This is what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mar Mario, it has such a nice ring. I like that Mario doesn't even introduce himself. <laughs> like, <laughs> Rosalina tells you her name and Mario's just like, Yeah, alright, uh, see you later. <laughs> your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you best hurry on over there. Do don't assume, I have never met- I have never met those men in my life. It's just like, it's just like, uh, hello, sir. Will you help us get our stars back? Uh, sir, sir, please. Howdy, Mario. If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. Where are we? I want to go home. It's even worse in Paper Mario, which I will also stream eventually, where where you don't even get you know Bing Bing Wahoo, you just get <laughs> that's that's all you that's all you get out of him. Mario, somehow we made it too. We'll help you get Power Stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're on this together. I doubt you're just gonna do normal one hundred percent. I doubt. I doubt you're going gonna do just normal 100% with Mario, so not all 242 stars. I'll probably do 100% with Mario, but I've been debating what to do about uh, <clears throat> the post game. I mean, but ultimately, I'll just see how we feel when we get there. You know, and if you guys, if you guys want to see me do the whole thing, you know, I I'll do it. I'm. I have no reservations about that. But you know what, let's just wait. We'll wait till we get to the end and we'll see how we feel. So I, I don't have any, I don't have any answer for that right now. Trouble on the tower. I, <laughs> I read that as Peter somehow. I think you guys are, are corrupting me. Oh, who am I kidding? I, it, it's a mutual corruption. It's like a symbiotic thing. Okay, so, so far the cursor situation is working out better than I thought it would. It's it's still a little sticky in the upper right corner, as you can see. But overall, it hasn't been too much of a pain. That being said, I, I wonder about Metroid Prime Trilogy. I mean, we can't forget that literally every stream stops with an Oh My God Lois notification. Is Super Peter 64 a thing? I would not be surprised if it was. I feel like I remember... I feel like I remember somebody hacking Peter into Mario 64. Just a Mario model and voice mod. I feel like you could do... you could do better than that, like... Like, every... every level is now a cutaway gag. And he goes like... 
Oh my god, Lois, this reminds, this reminds me of the time I was in Babarm Battlefield and I had to stop the Babarm King. Oh my god, Lois, this reminds me of the, the time I, I looked into parallel universes. Yeah, I wonder what this guy's gonna tell me. See, this is what I mean. It's just, it's, this, this area is just kind of fun and open. I wish there were more places in the game like this. That's like my only complaint. And I, I have friends that get a little frustrated when I, when I say this game is less than perfect. And I mean, I don't, I don't blame them. I, under, I understand. I just, I don't think any game is perfect, really. And I feel like it's, it's not fair to really say that any game is perfect. I, I think there's always room for improvement. Even even my favorite games are not perfect. And I, I feel like, you know, if you're... Oh, tiny rock! Tiny, tiny boulder. I feel like if, if you truly love something, then you need to be able to admit when it has flaws, and everything has flaws. I think, you know, I think loving something is loving it in spite of what it does wrong and not, you know, thinking that it doesn't do anything wrong. That's, that's my, the closest thing I have to wisdom. And yeah, like, like Greenie's saying, it's, it's impossible to please everybody. You know, you could be the sweetest pie, you could be the sweetest apple pie on the planet, but some people just don't like apple pie. And that's just, that's just how it is. That's just how it is on this bitch of an Earth. Well, I guess technically we're, we're not on Earth anymore. We're somewhere else. We're on B planet. That's how it is on this bitch of a B planet. Yeah, I could probably long jump over there. I don't know. I don't know if I should try. It seems like relatively high risk for relatively little reward, but... Do it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done it. I feel like you can do it. But, but would it be a monumental waste of time? Yes. <laughs> First two deaths. <laughs> And it's like the worst possible, most embarrassing death. Da 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 well, actually, I don't remember where where it was. Was it down here with this guy? No? I do hope Galaxy 2 gets re-released at some point. It does feel weird. It does feel weird that Galaxy 2 was not included. I mean, though, honestly, if you had asked me for, like, the perfect Mario collection, I probably would have thrown 3D Land in there, too, but... I guess since they were making the 3D world re-release its own thing, they maybe didn't want to do that. But Galaxy 2 definitely feels like a weird omission. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed 3D Land as well. I mean, in retrospect, it was a little bland, like, presentation-wise, but... I mean, for their first attempt at trying to do 2D Mario in 3D... Oh, here it was. It, it was interesting to play. You know? Oh god, my nose is so itchy! Ah! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I think I prefer 3D World as well. And I, I'd i like to eventually stream the the 3D World re-release version. It probably won't be when right as it's released, though. And yeah, I think I think 3D World is is pretty good. 
And I think I think if you like 3D Land, you will enjoy it, but I've been wrong before. You can also just walk up this fence. <laughs> yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stay- yeah, yeah, I know I played- I played a Mario game. Bowser's Fury is apparently around six hours. Oh, that's good. I, I was worried it was just gonna be like a really quick thing. So I am- I'm actually quite happy to hear that it's- it's somewhat substantial. Also, I've heard that it has actual honest-to-goodness through online multiplayer, which is good, because I, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends in real life anymore. It's just me. It's hard to- it's hard to meet new people sometimes. Sad there's no new characters. Come on, Wario, please! Beating Bowser's Fury unlocks Wario. I don't know why that would be the case, but... Uh, welcome to Seuss Planet. It's so- it's so weird that Mario 64 DS put him in as a playable character, and then, you know, we never saw anything like that again. I mean, I won't lie to you. 64 DS is pretty cool. But it's just, man, the controls really do not make it feel like the optimal version. I doubt Waluigi will ever be playable in a mainline Mario game. And this is why we live in the bad timeline. Oh no! Fury! Fury and rage. I mean, as much as people like to meme him, I, I do think Waluigi has potential as a Mario character. Or heck, even... Even as like a WarioWare character, I feel like it would be relatively easy to make something with him. Like, I understand that he was just created because Camelot wanted more tennis players. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I feel like I, if I put, if I picked up 64DS and started streaming it right now, I feel like I could get past the controls, you know? I'm not saying that the controls are unbearable. I just feel like it's the fact that there's something there that you have to bear in the first place. Is that it just feels suboptimal. It, it's like this game, the original, was entirely built around the idea of like showing what 3D controls could do. What what an analog stick could do for a platformer. And just to not have that, it, it just feels kind of backwards to me. Those mandibugs have taken over our observation deck. Oh, they make me so mad. And I mean, yes, you can use the touch screen, but like, be real, who, who did that? Who actually did that? That was like Nintendo putting a band-aid on a giant, like, gaping, wound like like you just had your right arm amputated and Nintendo is putting a band-aid over it yeah I don't know why they were so much darker I'm, I'm it's possible I will die let me grab this yeah Wii U virtual console for some reason just made everything darker and I am still not quite sure what the thought process was like maybe seizure protection but that's a pretty backwards way of going about it at least make it an option in that case. In that case, like, you're not... I don't think you're liable. You can just say, like, well, they disabled the anti-seizure protection. So is it our fault that they had a seizure? Is it... I mean, that sounds kind of immoral, but... I mean, it's not like Nintendo didn't literally stalk a guy for creating soft mods or hard mods. Nah, because in Mario Kart 64's lightning bolt, they just straight up removed it. Then I got nothing. It's just, it's baffling.
So when I stream Paper Mario, are you guys cool with me knocking down the brightness about five notches? Oh no, I killed her baby! Why are these video game characters such monsters? And don't say it was me, because I had to do this to progress. Oh, I'm disappointed. That's okay. That's one. That's one thing that I feel like. That's my second complaint with Galaxy. Besides the fact that it's too linear, is that they remove the thing where you can like backflip into a star and it'll fling you up. Like Sunshine did that. Like I, I want to make Mario go up in the air, please. I, I just, I need the little bit of serotonin that I can get, Nintendo. For, for for how concerned they were with this game about making it feel good, they, they really dropped the ball there. And I, I can't even make Mario face the wrong way. Big bad bugaboom. I'm holding out for that Paper Mario 64 remake rumor. Yeah, personally, I don't see it happening. We can't acknowledge the time we had characters. Oh no, that it's an infestation. Yes. There are certain missions where there isn't a floor below for the star to land on. All right, fine. <laughs> Thirty-four lives. Unfortunately, I think it resets when I we reset the game, so I can't stockpile all this. Ah, the whole Mandelberg clan has inf I forgot the voice! Has infested our kingdom! Okay, let's take these guys out. I feel so confuzzled with the way Paper Mario is right now, I can't even put it into words. I can. Alright, it stinks! Well, it's been on a definite uptrend, but I say uptrend and not just it's good now. Because I, I do not believe that. I do not agree with that assessment. If you do, that's whatever. You know, just you do you, man. I, I can't tell you what to like, but I myself, I, maybe I'm just a crotchety old man. I don't know, but but it was better when I was a kid. It was better the old way. Okay, thank you. Oh, also, I remember thinking this was the dopest thing, just that it was on a block. I was like, wow. If I don't, if I'm not mistaken, this was either before or like right around when New Super Mario Brothers got released. I mean, back when New Super Mario Brothers, w back when Mario, New Super Mario was new. New Super Mario Brothers came out the year before, so yeah, it was fairly recent at the time. I just want, I want the Mario spin-offs to just start putting like really weird characters in there. Like I want characters from the RPGs and like uh, put in Stanley the Bugman or something. Like I want you to get real weird with it. I mean heck, if they're, if they're all gonna play roughly the same, then why not? Why not do it? The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. And yeah, I mean, I haven't played many of the sports games either. Pretty, pretty much just Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. I think that's really the only one. I didn't bother with any of the others. Uh. Okay, on to Boss Island. Can you really call this a planet at this point? Okay. Mr. Mantis Man.
Okay, he's turning around. He's turning around. They brought in a lot of Galaxy 2 bosses back in Galaxy... Or, no, I got that backwards. They brought Galaxy 1 bosses back in Galaxy 2. Oh. If they brought Galaxy 2 ba bosses back in Galaxy 1, I would be like, Wow, how'd you manage that? So there you go, that's what happened. Also, I don't know what it is about streaming that just speeds my metabolism up, but I'm suddenly, like, extremely hungry. <laughs> oh, we discovered another new galaxy. Oh, there's a, there's a hungry man. It's a hungry man. Hungry man, feed him a frozen dinner. Do you need some emergency fries? I might. Okay, 400. I got that. I can spare it. Yeah, so that's why we want to collect all the star bits we can. Because these guys will show up. And they give us new places to go. Little mini galaxies. So let's go there. Rocky Road. You get it? You get it? It's like it's like ice cream. It's funny. Laugh. Laugh. Now, I know what we're all thinking. Well, maybe not all of us. Okay, so this is just a little platforming challenge. Kind of sunshine-esque. I mean, it gets more sunshine-esque <laughs> later, but... Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Can't go any farther. Don't stop here, the star is just around the corner. I'm not familiar enough with ice cream to know that Rocky Road is supposed to mean something. It's, it's a flavor of ice cream. I think they put like brownies and cookies in it and stuff. Kind of makes me want some. I, I haven't had like a super decked out ice cream cone in a while. I used to go to those places where they'd like wrap it up. They'd like get a bunch of toppings and like just wrap it up in the ice cream and man, I oh, I could really go for that right now. See, I just, I backflip into the, the star, but it just doesn't feel good. Just doesn't feel right. Okay, and it'll, it'll tell you when you've got every star in a galaxy. Which kind of spoils the fact that our other galaxies are not fully complete yet. Okay. Oh, they finished the ship. We finished building the star room starship. We'll use it to search for power star. Homer! Homer, Bart! Bart joined the Toad Brigade! Bart joined the Toad Brigade, Homer! And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate them, well, me! Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade! <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. Oh! Get on top! Break in! Your internet cut out for the last two to three minutes. I'm sorry.
You did sweet, sweet before loop de swoop. Weirdo. We've discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor grand star. That's cool, man, but I'm not doing that yet. <laughs> okay, so we got loop de swoop and uh, flip switch. We'll do flip switch first. Can you guess what we do in this galaxy? Just imagine if the actual galaxy was a giant Bowser head. Oh man, you know what? Bowser's giant in the second one. They missed an opportunity by not having Mario like walk up his arm onto his head or something. Then again, I say that and it sounds kind of weird, so maybe that's why he did. they didn't do it. Oh, it's that one Zelda enemy. Uh, uh, uh. Should have done that for Bowser's Fury. Maybe. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. Not crap. You can just do that. You can jump across. Anything is possible if you set your mind to it. Also, the background was 8-bit the whole time. Why? I don't know. It just was. I think I recognize that game in the BG. Yeah, it was, it was an obscure little title for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not many people have heard of it. Surfing 101. Surfing USA. I like to believe that's a Sunshine reference. I mean, there's a definite Sunshine reference in the sequel. But we'll talk about that when we get there. Pingin! Pingin! What's a pink repair though? Right here, we start our race. I'm serious, we're kind of race over. That's what we do. Wait a minute, it isn't so easy. It's a lesson that my couch has to say. That cute little guy over there is ready. Mario! I, I gotta surf Mario! Oh, but this is your first time race surfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. Now let me explain. Point your mm, at the screen. Yeah, yeah, that's the basic position. To turn that, yeah, you gotta twist the, you gotta twist the, the moat. I just hope that this doesn't go to crap with my setup. This doesn't really need... I don't feel like this really needs you to point at the screen, does it? If only it had Wiimote Plus. Oh, okay, so... We do this... We do this number. You gotta twist it, and then you gotta bop it up. Okay, so it's, it's not crumbling under my setup, but it's still wacky. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I just thought of another way this might be a sunshine reference. Uh, sharp. Sharp. Oh, A sharp. B flat. I mean, there's nothing to crush Mario in this level, so he can't be flat. Make you wanna twist and shout.
Okay. There we go. I kind of want to see Dustman attempt to skip on the second one. Yeah, I, I, I would have to look up what the skip was, because I don't know. Uh, just, uh, I almost cracked the 59 second mark. I almost had it. Alright, hang on, I'll try it again. Let me queue up the vapor wave. Okay, maybe we can finish by uh, finishing up World One. That would be that would be a good bookend, I think. I mean, we're not finished. Finished. Oh, you use the homing ground pound on the big penguin below the trophy platform. Eh, I could try, but that's the second one, right? Yeah. All right, let's go to Bowser Head. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Yes, it's him. He's back. He's Bowser's son. Do you know how embarrassing it is to have a son? Goomba's a metal head. Okay, so here's a new thing you gotta do. You gotta lead the bullets. I've heard I've been leading your shots, but this is ridiculous. Oh, that guy's just dead. That, that man is just deceased. No, 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 that's not Baby Bowser, that's Koopa Kid, right? Baby Bowser is Yoshi's Island. Wahaha, <laughs> 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 you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Legs. Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. How do those propellers work? There's no air in space. Bowser Jr., you're gonna have to pilot Mega Leg. Or else Iggy's gonna have to do it again. This is a neat, this is a, well, this, it's not really much of a boss fight, but it's still neat. It was a way for you to get in the swim course without the surfing ray. I mean, I can still try it. Is it the first one? First one or the second one? Okay. Now I gotta lead the bullet. It's especially fun when that happens. Oh wait. <laughs> I didn't even have to break any of them. Yeah, it's the second one. Okay, when I get there, just remind me. I'll, I'll give it a try. Show off. Son, that was that was complete fluke, and we both know it. <laughs> I was just trying to hit the fence. <laughs> All right, world clear. Apparently, it was Baby Bowser in the first Mario parties, but Koopa Kid later on. Makes sense. So now we get to go to the Water Dome. 
We got 11. Look. That ball of flame represents the sun. Power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the bacon will grow. The Comet Observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. But isn't the universe constantly expanding? How do you know where the center is? Do you adjust for that? Oh, the power is on in a new dome. Yes, I saw. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Yes. Yes. And now I must die. So you can stomp on these guys. Oh wait. No, I don't. I don't know. So you can like stomp on these guys. But if you try to stomp on Rosalina, this happens. Dang old force field. All right. Well, I'll see you later. I'm. I, it's a little. It's like ten minutes earlier than I usually cut it off. But I feel like finishing the first world is a good time. Is a good time to stop it. I'll see you.